The Jenny Williams collection of photographs has a story. It is a story. She started collecting photographs at a time when she was basically alone as a female collector and as a woman who's opening a gallery and making photography a focus of her endeavor. The way that she collected across categories, across medium, without any sort of blinders. She just had a passion and it's visceral when you are confronted and when you see and step into her space. The Ginny Williams collection of photographs is incredibly diverse. It's explosively diverse, but it's also interesting in that she has great depth in those artists that she chose to both collect and champion. There are a number of photographs by Dorothea Lange showing the human condition. You have a wonderful work by Margaret Burke White, classic American imagery by Robert Frank. There are fantastic photographs by Ruth Bernhard probably the largest collection of Bernhardt photographs in private hands. A really surprising depth of photographs by Robert Maplethorpe. And then it dovetails and detours into these total avant-garde masterpieces by Tina Modati and Herbert Beyer. Among my favorites are these Lucas Samaras Polaroids. They're SX-70s where you have Samaras' hand having pushed and pulled the emulsion during development. The Tina Madati interior church study from the early 1920s is this lush platinum print that is really the best of what the artist delivers. Tina Madati made this photograph in Mexico with her companion, lover, mentor, teacher, Edward Weston. Weston gets all the fame in the history of photography, but Madati's vision is entirely her own. This photograph is so abstract that you really can hang it in any direction. And Madati herself exhibited it for the first time upside down. One of the most exciting photographs, the Herbert Bayer photograph, this unique collage. When you see it in person, it's a totally different experience than how you've seen it reproduced in books or frankly, in the later prints. The image itself is surreal and captivating. You have this sea of aspen trees and these eyes peering out, the eyes that are literal eyes and also the eyes that are made out of the knots from the trees. It is comprised of gelatin silver prints that have been very carefully trimmed by the artist, as well as these half tones that have been trimmed, the hand application of gouache and ink. It is the last, the culminating photoplastiken that Bayer made. And this work, which is from 1959, is the seminal work from the series. During my time at Sotheby's, I have been privileged to handle some of the most important collections of photographs that have come to the market in the last 15 years. The opportunity to work with the Ginny Williams collection is really exciting. It really does span the history of the medium. We get to see every type of print, platinum prints, gelatin silver prints, chromogenic prints, Polaroid. Her passion for what she collected is entirely what excites specialists like us. And I'm excited to bring the Ginny Williams photographs to collectors.